Hello everybody. Right. Um, last week I was doing a permadeath run of No Man's Sky and it lasted half hour into part two and I died. That wasn't a very good idea. We're going to have another go, but I'm going to do survival rather than permadeath. Obviously the first one's just... This part's really just going to be me getting my ship. I'll try and get it done as quickly as I can and I'll... For people that don't know the game, I will try and explain the mechanics and... Like that. Right, so first contact means I'm the first person in this. As to before, you always start on a hazardous planet. If you press your left thumbstick down, you should have a surface scanner, but it's not working. So the first thing you have to do, always, as soon as you start, is. Oh, that's fucking salt. Might as well finish last bit. Is. You want to get. Uh, fed our dust, which you get from minerals. That's just showing us source shit. Where the fuck's the rocks? Ah. Now, the reason you do a surface scan is you need to find sodium, which are the yellow glowing plants. Let me get that, because I need to. Put it in as a protection. Well, I'll just put it in me as a protection. There we go. As a protection is that top one. I need some. I need a lot more sodium. Oh, some plant. See some some planets. You can't tell what's plants. Ah, oh, there's a load of sodium over there. To be honest, the very start, the very start of the game is probably the most dangerous. Get some sodium. There we go, it's nearly full. And you're going to be... In a lot better position. Right, so I need 75 ferrite dust. How much am I getting for each one of those? Not a lot. See, that's a plant there. To me, that looks more like a rock. Is that a rock? There we go. That'll do. If you start off somewhere and there's a cave nearby, head to the cave. Because once you're in a cave, your hazard protection will go back up. So I sh should hopefully have enough now. No, 59, I needed 75. So you need 75 ferro dust to fix your scanner. You'll, you'll see what the scanner does very shortly. Right, so go to refill. No, 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 what am I doing? Go to inventory. Go to your exosuit. No, you don't like. Go to your multi tool. I'll get it right in a second. Click on your scanner. And there, that's fixed. So now, if you press down on the left stick. You get a surface scan. You know, the sodium up there. Uh, sodium, NA sodium. Uh, o is oxygen. You've got H is dehydrogen. So I'll go and get that sodium. I haven't seen any caves. Oh. 
Well, let's fill that up again. Some protection, sodium. Right, so we've got my signal from my ship, so that's going to be very handy. Let's. So what I want is, actually, what I could do with is be bloody try and manipulate it because there's copper up there. Uh, when I was getting me one lot of sodium, there was a big coppery coloured patch of ground. Down there, or down that way there. Probably end up coming back to that. So start off, the hydrogen's handy. You definitely need that to fix your ship. You need the hydrogen jelly. You craft from that. You need ferrite dust. Carbon's always useful. See what we got in here. Or microprocessor, that could come in handy. And until you upgrade your hazard protection, it's always worth so keeping a note if you can see any caves. And that way you can say if you the sodium you collect. Maybe no. Where it is, yeah, look. Mineral, so it's a rock with tentacles that move. This is a weird planet. Yeah, it's always a, an idea. I right, need to right, just fill up me um, my mining beam. What was I saying then? Oh yeah, so that way you can sort of keep your, your sodium until you really need it. Carbon is used for your mining beam. Right, I need to get to that ship. Oh look, a little flying... What the hell? The carbon's always handy, ferro dust's always handy. Copper as well. But I can't get that yet. Oh, and oxygen. Can I get that before I go into the ship? Oxygen's used to fill up your uh, life support. Which I will do when I get in the ship. Right, now you see, when I get into the ship, my hazard protection will go up. Anyway, right. Iteration 4924G online. Atlas connection intermittent. Launch thrusters are flying. Pulse engine are flying. I find myself alone on a strange world. Unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here. No sense of it before. <laughs> But this ship at least seems to recognise me. The controls react to my touch, or at least that makes a suit. I'm not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. So it doesn't matter which uh, selection you put there, it'll come to the same thing. So, to fix your ship, go into inventory, get to your starship, and you can see the things that are broke. You've got the pulse engine and your launch thrusters now so the pulse engine we need metal plating one metal plating a pneumatic seal you will be sent off to get a pneumatic seal uh, there is a set thing that happens with that so how to craft just literally just click in an empty spot uh, go to whatever it is you want to do now I'm, now I'm going to need the hydrogen jelly, so I'll make that now. So again, click on the system you want to fix. I've got my metal parts, so I'll take that. 
I need my Omatic Seal. For the launch thrusters, dehydrogen jello, which I've just made. The other thing I need is pure ferrite. I need 50 pure ferrite. Now, for pure ferrite, is one of the things that you can refine. Uh, let's see, I probably need some more ferrite dust. So you can build a refiner and that will turn uh, ferrite dust into pure ferrite and then pure ferrite it will turn into uh, magnetised ferrite. Carbon, you can refine that to condensed carbon. Um, there's, there's a lot you can do in it so let's get some dust. I need 50 pure ferrite. Now, ferrite dust to pure ferrite, a one-to-one -one, um, recipe. So, I need oxygen, which I've got, and I need another metal plate to build me refiner. So you put that in, fuel it with carbon, and then uh, 33 ferrite, so I need more ferrite dust. I'll get that going while I'm doing it though. So sooner, sooner I get, oh. Right. Maybe it's a long way around. Oh, I've got no, you're joking, don't tell me I've got no carbon. It's in there, isn't it? We'll put all the carbon in there, right? So what I'm going to do? Pick that up, and now the carbon goes back into there, and now I can refuel the mining beam. So I need a little bit more ferrite dust, and I need to get some carbon. You can punch plants to get a little bit of carbon enough to put in your gun, so you can then glass plants apart but is there any oxygen nearby I had picked some up though so another way you can get oxygen oh, I haven't got the analysis once you've got an analysis analysis fires you can find where the uh, has this flora uh, get oxygen off them? Well, that's a big mineral. Dense carbons more. Um, can't remember the word I want to use. More efficient than using carbon. to let the carers in uh, and let's get inside my ship so I don't die. Right, just bear with me. Oh.
Ah, uh, yeah. And absinthe stores require components. Pulse engines require hermetic seal. Uh, well, request assistance. It's going to send me somewhere now. Right. While I'm doing that, let's just have a quick look at the system on me. Four planets, one moon. The Roginit Yavon something system. Oh. It's the Smith one system and Planet Wolfie Smith. Usually my first planet. After that I'll, it can be anything. I didn't, I didn't do it, did I? I was, I was in a bit of a rush to let the cams in. Right. So I can... Carbon in there. Now what will happen is I'll be given location nearish to go and get um, a Matic Seal. And on the way there'll be a storm. That's to show you how you get into caves to avoid storms. So I've got the pure ferrite. Now you don't actually have to get into your ship. As long as you're close by, you can uh, do it. So select the ship. I, I need the Matic seal for that. And launch thrusters now fixed. And while I'm there. First ship, always the Eagle of Retribution, which is probably a reference not many people will get unless you've watched a lot of Citizen Smith, which was John Sullivan's uh, first sitcom before uh, Only Falls and Horses. Uh, boundary separation, but yeah, usual vessel emptied. Fresh situation generated, blah blah. It's a broadcast signal. All I see is crimson, and then it fades. It contains a planetary chart, which is going to give you the, the uh, coordinates. Let's have a look what's in this broken machine. We find these around quite a bit. Uh, usually nanites, sometimes it's uh, upgrades. Right, so get to your inventory, click on that, and it'll pop the rest. So now I know I'm going to hit a storm soon. Let's get that sodium up there. Because, of course, it, it, it's, it tells you to get undercover, but that's not much good. If you're on a planet where there's not much cover, and it can happen. Some planets have loads of caves and craters, some not so much. Radiation now sometimes you can actually get, if you really run, you might be able to get there without needing cover. But so I'm on a Gek planet, so I might as well learn a couple of Gek words. These knowledge stones. Um, give you words in the language of that, that system. The first one gives you the name of the, the, what's it, Gek. If you're in a Viking system, the first word you learn, you learn is Viking. But I know now, Gek and friend, there we go, incoming storm. What's that? Oh, I've got no blood. No use trying to use an analysis files that I haven't made yet. Oh, 
get the save yet. See, I haven't seen any caves. Now I know I've got a bit of save yet. Oh, look, there's a shitload down, I'm alright. You sometimes find these like fields of sodium, sometimes it's fields of oxygen. Ah, there's some other hazardous flora. See a load of oxygen there as well? I'll get that after. I want to get undercover. See, in storms, your hazard protection can go really quickly, especially at the start. And there's no... Oh, it looks like there's some copper there. That's good. There's no bloody caves. Right. Oh, just got that there. There we go. Shit. It's because I come down too heavy on the landing. The jetpack, you know. The shield. No, I I've still got me full three health, so that shield will come back up in a bit. So you go into a cave or into a building and your hazard protection goes up. If you dig a hole yourself, then it just stabilizes, it doesn't go up. Right, so now it's going to say, yeah, no one making this recording case, leaving behind in the fabricator, might be of some use. So whoever's left it before. And there's my Amatic Seal. And the storm's clear, you know, because that was the whole idea to get you to realise that there's times you need to get into into um, into cover. So let's quick menu. Let's fill up my life support. I didn't have enough to totally fill it, but I know there was. Watch it over there, so see it's saying actually I should have done that before because it's only nano tubes. It tells you to try your analysis files, it didn't tell you to how to fix it. Right. So I need carbon nanotubes to fix me analysis files and I should have done that. Well to, should have done that straight away. So if you click on an empty slot, you'll see whatever, you, if you've got plans to actually build anything. Your analysis far as that, one lot of carbon nanotubes, I should have done that first thing, that's... What that allows you to do, allows you to analyse the animals. Now I've only got like a thousand, if you notice for him, when you upgrade you can get loads of money scanning animals once you've upgraded your, your stuff um, animals that you haven't analyzed have got the red dots green poor means obviously you've, you've done them and you can now analyze all the minerals all the trees and it'll tell you what minerals you get because some some things you get more than one type of mineral from now I haven't got a terrain manipulator so I can't dig down and get that yet more than not oh look at that bloody Look at that copper up there. Oh, uranium, sorry, not copper. Is 
think that's where that oxygen was. Is that a field of oxygen? There was a, there was a load, wasn't there? No, this is just one plant. No, there was a shitload of oxygen somewhere, but bugged if I can remember where. Ah, there. Ah, well, come on, I was the other side of that, wasn't I? That's what it was, so I was the other. Ah! I need an advanced volume laser, bollocks. Right, let's get me, they get me as a protection and me life. Recharge, there we go. Ah, oh, there is a cave. I miss, totally missed that. Mind you, it's not that noticeable if you're not. So say in the caves, you guys' protection goes up. And the thing with caves is that's where you find cobalt. You're not going to find it anywhere else, I think. I don't I remember seeing it anywhere else. Again, you've got cobalt, the main thing, and you will get trithium as well, a little bit of trithium, which you use to um, fuel your pulse engine of your ship. In caves, you usually get these hazardous, I don't know what you'd call them, lovely plants. Uh, sodium or oxygen, you usually get off them. The outside plants, you get oxygen. Right, let's get on back to the ship. You don't use salt a lot. Used to use it a lot in chlorine farms. Used to be able to make a lot of money manufacturing chlorine. We only need a little bit to, to get it going. Another cave down there as well. Not much of one. Although to be fair, that would probably, yeah, you know, it's enough to make it go up. As long as it thinks you're under down. In fact, it's a shitty little cave. The game doesn't take that into account. Right, let's. Oh, another load of. Uh, Sodium. 
It's not a bad planet, this for the uh it's the second massive lot of sodium I've found. So I can get this fixed now. So inventory gets your starship. Click on pulse engine. I've got the massive seal. So we're all good. So we now take off and get to other planets. And before we do that, let's just have a quick look. Right, planet Wolfie Smith. Still four creatures to find. Uh Two underground, I'm oh sorry, three underground, one ground. Let's just have a look at them. So you got fragile skin, uh, swirl through the air with wild and beautiful unpredictability, a gnawing hunger for sugar. Sort of looks like the head of a seal on a parrot. Diabetic seal bird or seal bat? No, more of a parrot in it. The diabetic seal parrot. Now we've got. <laughs> Flexible joints, cautious, watchful creatures, cautious, what the fuck, only one let me put what the fuck, but that's to be a what the feck. I got a butter. I mean, uh, butterfly wings carrying around that monstrosity. Oh, evil! It's additional observations. Evil. That's right. Well, it's the evil. Evil flutterby. What the fuck? Respires inorganically, uh, crushed by nature. Light gamma rays. Now they remind me of almost like Dreamer style from uh, Skyrim. Cautious Dreamer. Oh yeah, come on. And was I spelling Dreamer? I think that was it. That'll do anyway. Let's have a look at another planet. I will come back and get the last four. But I'll have a look at another planet and see. That one seems like a good one to put my base on. Right, let's... So what have we got? A oh, grassy planet? That one seemed quite good for resources. Ah, oh, test boost with L2. 
Wait a minute. Test Starship Systems, Test Boost. An old test boot pull system which I was just doing. That's a computer. So, incoming message. Right. Source 4925B. Please identify yourself. I'm. Identify yourself. You are not alone. Follow the something. Broadcast and strategy began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. See, that's where you get your. Oh, I'm ready to put it back on the on the planet I've just come from. Back on planet Wolfie. Let's go there first, because then I get my base computer. If I remember right. Get the plans for the base computer. So when I get to this other planet, you know, if I like it, I can just bundle watch it down. I've got to come back to here anyway, so. Doing just hard. 37 minutes. Should give me base. A very basic base build. Got to say one thing I love about this is the way you go from planet to planet. No loading screens. Just fly off one, fly to another. And it is, looks lovely now in VR. Uh, in PSVR 1, it was blurry. But it was still, still really good. So where, where is it telling me to land? I don't know. This, uh. It looks like it's underground. There's usually a, a beacon or something. Ah, oh, he's telling me to do yeah. You know what I was saying. Evil, fluttery, what the fuck. Radiation yeah, if you put your hand up to your head. You've got your analysis files, so that's the normal mode. That's so how we can see all the diff you know, damaged machinery, mineral deposits, whatever. If you look at the bottom, if you, you can, I can now do a sweep for. That signal. Eventually, you can do. You can upgrade. You can do a load of stuff on it. Uh, find gas deposits and all sorts of weird shit. Here we go. That's the new new one. No. I'll just say from that, let's just try are these uh, dangerous? Are you gonna eat me? No, that's all right. <coughs> it's just nice to know because if they attack you, then every time you see, you might as well just shoot them, save time. <laughs> it's partly wise, the machine generates a signal, tucking out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. <coughs> Sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. No fueling. Failed to reach station. Has the protection now. No choice but to something on the ground. Deployed base computer. As well as a log entry, the signal contains plans for a base computer and a ter terrain manipulator. <coughs> then you look. The base computer will hold more information about who's leaving these messages. So I need. First thing I need to do is get my terrain manipulator sorted. So I'll get the copper <coughs> I 
Oh, pardon me. Right, so. Click on inventory, go to your multi tool. And I've now got the option to build a tray manipulator. Two carbon nanotubes and one dehydrogen jelly. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I can probably make them now. Because I've been blowing up a lot of trees. Oh no, need 38 more carbon. Not a major problem, is it? But again, nowhere to bloody hide. Right, quick menu. Oh, I've not identified that yet. I hadn't coughed for a while. Really tickling me throat there. Right, well that allowed me to build a second carbon nano tube. It ate me more. Cause obviously because I filled my uh, mining beam up with it. can now finish the installation of my terrain manipulator so on the way to the my ships over there there's uranium there uranium's useful let's get some uranium on the uranium on the way Ooh. Right, so there's the uranium, so you switch to your throw manipulator and you can just blast it. And what you can also do is see if I go into a hole that I've dug myself, it's well, as the protection doesn't go back up, but it, it just stabilizes, it doesn't get down any further. So if you are low, you can do your mining from inside. And the other thing you can do, I'm not sure whether I'm going to... Oh, here we go, subterranean relic. If you look down, you, you'll sometimes see right underneath you, subterranean relic or sometimes it's a humming sack. And you know there's a cave there. That's the vortex cubes you just sell then. So it's, it's a good way of finding caves if you need to sort out your as a protection or if you just want to uh, get some cobalt or something. Now obviously I can I'll use my jetpack and jet back up to there. Ooh, am I going to make it? Come on. Or Wait, let me just fill up the life support. <coughs> All what you can do is just blast the tunnel. Oh, bloody hell, I didn't realise it was that close. Uh -huh. There we go. Radiation protection 
Right, is there any copper close by? Well, now let, let's go to that to the other pan. So I, I want to get the um, uh, no fuel in launch thruster. Of course, right. So if you have a look, see what you need to make launch fuel. You need metal plating and dehydrogen. Now I've got plenty of dehydrogen. So make metal plating, craft me launch fuel, and just that, drop that into the launch thrusters. Oh, actually, I'm a twat. I could have just... Uh, uranium. I'm sure uranium does... Um, and I've just got a load of uranium. I didn't need to do that. Oh, well. Oh, that tells me that we're getting hour. 15 minutes to go. Right. See if I can get a, even if it's just a basic base. So when I'm close to service, if I look for a, a copper seam, because I need to make chromatic metal, and I'm about to run out of trithium for me pulse engines, and I've, I've got a bit in the ship, so refill that. Interesting looking planet. Oh, we got a, a crash freighter. Might be worth landing there because you see the uh, little landing beacon there. And this is a planet with weird, weird light. That is a, those circles were green. They didn't look green, but they are green in normal. So, I can take off from here and it's not going to uh, cost me any fuel. Copper deposit 500 units away there. 900 that way. No, that's not further away. Nothing closer. 900. Oh, there we go. 392 units. So we'll get some copper. And uh, might make a quick base because I can always, when I get decide on my more permanent base, I can always uh, destroy it. You see, I think that there, that. that That yeah, that's sodium. So, so this looks like it's red, but as you know from the other planet, sodium glows bright yellow. So, something on this planet makes light go funny. Hundred eighty three sodium, so plenty of sodium. Now my hazard protection's not going down. So does that mean this is a safe planet? Let's just have a look. Weather boiling monsoons. So not all the time. So you do have storms. Ah, uh, 
uh, Sentinels. I was, oh, and again, obviously the hydrogen's blue, and those look green. And copper's copper coloured, and that looks black. <laughs> so, a bit of a weird, weird planet. Which I quite like. Now, up there, it'd be nice, wouldn't it, for a base? Up in the mountains. Oh, it looks like a dinosaur, that does. Oh, what are we doing for time? Oh, I've got eight minutes, so I'm going to have to do it here. I might do a, a base here. Uh, just temporary for now. And then next, what's it? Put a base up there. Because I need to get me refiner out. and put in the copper and I'll get chromatic metal now I need 30 for a for a base Let me exercise. Right, just leave that going. Build me base computer. Right, do, do, so as long as it's not too close to another base or too close to an existing installation, it will let you have it. So now. I look at the archives. It'll give me very, very basic building materials. Storm sweeping across, but construction supplies low. Depositing shelter plans while something need to back soon. So now I can. So I'm not, I'm not going to bother about building anything special because that's where I was thinking that wasn't going to fit but it's because that should be showing green but green doesn't show green on this planet does it and we're just that's showing as red which means I can't build it and I can't build that because I haven't got enough so I don't know whether it's telling me I can build it or I can't build it right I need some Need some more uh Oh he's big you know You're not you're not hunting that big dinosaur are you? Oh shit now the sentinels after me. Shut up. If they see you destroying plants, they get nifted and attack you. Temperature levels stabilizing. There we are. Now all I need to do is save my game. So let's summon my ship. Because it's coming from um, a landing pad it doesn't use fuel so you can always get it so now when I leave this little save again there you are restore point saved right well I've got my a very basic base I'm going to I think I do like the look at those mountains I'm thinking up there I might build a base up there
but that will be for next time right I hope you've enjoyed that obviously this is just the, the very beginnings um, things will get a lot more diverse and interesting but we've fixed the ship so all ready for the next next part oh actually a moment before I go I've got time three and a half minutes I'm all right is pick me bloody refiner up because otherwise I'll forget it and what you can do with your terrain manipulator is you can alter it you can flatten restore mine's the general one that's what oh because the ship's too close that's why doesn't work if the ship's close. Shit. I was going to fill in the hole. Right, let's save the game again. And I will see you next time. <coughs> Pardon me. Take care, everybody. Have a lovely day. And I'll see you soon. Try to be.